potato farmers, you guys. Wait. But we need something to excavate these potatoes. Abra. Cadabra. <gasps> Where are we? Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. We're in a toy store. Look at this giant excavator up there. They have this dump truck here. Oh, is that a harvester? Yeah. Oh, Axel, look at this back home. Look at that dozer. So, pick out the truck that we want. Look at that potato. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that harvest, man. Well, we nice work, excavator. The biggest one yet is down there, though, you guys. It's a monster yeah. potato. All right, Axel. Are you ready for the show? Uh -huh. Dude, so how long have you been waiting to do this? How long? Uh -huh. A long time. Are you super excited? How excited? Let me see how excited you are. Tell me how big. How big excited are you? Teleport. <laughs> That's how excited you are? Yes, you guys. Axel has been waiting for a long time to do this. We are gonna harvest potatoes. This is a potato plant, you guys. Did you know that? This is what a potato plant looks like. Yeah. So Axel, you took some potatoes that we threw out over there that started growing. Yeah, you guys, if you just leave potatoes alone, they'll start growing little leaves and roots and stuff. <laughs> and we threw some out on the ground, some organic potatoes, because they went bad, and Axel, and they started growing little leaves and roots and stuff. And so Axel took them and planted them right here. And you have another potato plant right here, right? Two. Yeah, two. And two yep. right here. And then two right there. So Axel, are you ready? Everywhere. Well, we need something to excavate these potatoes. We need some sort of excavator, okay? Hey, what if we could teleport to a place that had an excavator and then bring it back with us to here? We have to find an Abra and turn ourselves into a ditto. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, so over here we have a wild Abra. And, and over I, there over here we have cadabra. a wild Cadabra. And we are gonna use teleport, okay? Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Abra. Cadabra. Teleport! <gasps> oh. What? Where are we? Oh my gosh, where's my hair? My hair's gone. What happened to my hair? You are my different. shirt's different. You guys, where are we? What's behind you? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. We're in a toy store with all of these brooder trucks. Look how many there are. Look at this giant excavator up there. Do you see this thing? Oh my gosh, you guys. This is crazy. Wow. This would be good for. That is so big. Do you think that could dig up the potatoes? What else do they have? You just pointed to a backhoe. This is the J. Is it JCB? Yeah, this is the JCB backhoe here. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh, so that's another option. So we have the backhoe. What else do they have? Oh, and to put the potatoes in. They have a, you know, we're not gonna get two things. We're just gonna get one right now. <laughs> they have this dump truck here. Look at this thing, that is so cool. Oh, is that a harvester? Yeah. Wow, it's a combine harvester, I think. Oh, Axel, look at this backhoe. This backhoe is on a truck. You see that? Look at that, the backhoe is on a truck. It's wow, you guys, that is crazy. You it's a JCB backhoe, but it also has a truck. We can load the potatoes on there. That yeah. would work. We're oh. getting it. You wanna get this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's really difficult, you guys. They have a lot of really cool stuff here. See, they have. They, there's this excavator right here. See this one? Look at that excavator. Oh, there's a massive fire. Yeah, that would fire. work for the potatoes. There's a massive fire truck up there. Oh, there's a really big fire truck right there. All right, I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see this fire truck. It is massive. Look at that. Wow, it has a huge ladder up there. And look, they have the Green Toys dump truck, except it's orange and blue. Is that crazy? Oh. And Axel, do you see how big this dozer is? Look at that dozer. That thing is massive. It's a track loader. Oh, it's a track loader. You're right. Look at that, you guys. Wow, that thing is huge, too. It's a snow plow. What's well, a real plow? A snow plow? Oh, and my look, gosh, you're can, right. You can put the snow in here. Oh, my gosh. That would have been great whenever we had snow, right? Yeah. Dude, that would have been great. We used a dozer instead. There's our John Deere tractor we got. Yep. Okay, yeah. you guys. So we got to make a decision now. The backhoe with the truck the back. or the giant caterpillar excavator there. What? Like these think? are both kind of small. But uh -huh. this one is giant. Ugh. This is a hard decision, this man. This has like a little bit of a wire bucket. 
like better for cucumbers than potatoes. Yeah, so this right here, you guys, but that also it has would a be like almost as good for potatoes as that one. I yeah. prefer this one. We can pick cucumbers and potatoes. So do you like this one because it's got a hoe on the back? Yeah. Oh. And it's got a bucket on the front. Oh, he can extend his hoe back. Back hoes are very useful like that. They're not excavators. They just have the bucket on the front, but a backhoe has the excavating hoe on the back and it also oh, has a bucket on the front for scooping and loading. This uh -huh. could like dig up the potatoes while this one grabs a few cucumbers for us. Yeah, that's true. Or this could dig up the potatoes and this one could load the potatoes yeah. onto here and then we could use this to deliver the potatoes to the yeah. kitchen and, and cook them. And we would be getting one extra truck. Two yeah. trucks instead of one. Do you want to cook the potatoes and eat them? Yeah. Does that sound fun? Okay, so what's your decision, bro? I don't know, you guys. What are we gonna choose? The excavator or the backhoe? You want that one? Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. Let's get this thing paid for, and let's go back to the house, okay? All right, you guys. So we picked out the truck that we want, the backhoe and this truck right here. Now we are gonna turn back into the cadavers and teleport back home. All right, are you ready? Abracadabra. Alakazam! Whoa, we're back! back. Alright, come on, let's get this thing opened up and check it out. Alright, you guys. Let's open it up. There you go. Oh, <laughs> the trailer came off. Pull the truck out. There we go. So, first, we have the backhoe here. It's got a front loader on it. Yeah. Yep, that's what the backhoe is. It's got a loader on the front and a hoe on the back. This is Pretty sweet, man. The hoe attachment here, you guys, it doesn't come on the truck, so you have to attach it here. You gotta hook both of those hooks on there. Yeah, hook it on there, and then snap it in place. There you go. And look, it can slide back and forth. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. And Axel's right, you guys. See, it has stabilizers here. They go up and down. See, and that's how it works with these backhoes. They always have stabilizers, and they use so they can push the back wheels up off of the ground, so we can start digging. So, Axel, you think this can dig up our potatoes? Mm. All right. <laughs> Is that a good cucumber? <laughs> yeah, you guys. Axel picked a cucumber from our garden. Pretty delicious. Mm. So, Axel, you see this stand right here? Mm -hmm. It's supporting it on this end. Mm -hmm. Now look, these trucks they back into this. So can you back that truck up underneath there? Let's see you do it. Back it up. There you go. And then it snaps into place there. There it is. Nice. Okay. Now we need to drive that backhoe up onto the ramps there. So we can deliver it to the job site, right? There we go. Nice. Now look at that. See how these grooves are angled for the wheels there? These two spacers right here, they're angled. All right, bro. Can you deliver this to the job site? Let's see it. Whoa, there's the engine. Yep, there's the engine, you guys. Just like the real truck see that lifts up on the front. Oh, and that's cool. There's no noises. Oh, they have lights, but there's no noises. Oh, there's not even lights. Oh, you can put the ones that light up on here if you want to. Mm-hmm. All right, let's deliver it to the job site. To the potato job site. <laughs> All right, there you go. We're going to make it. A little bit further. We're there. There we are at the first potato plant here. Oh boy. Axel's pretty excited about something. What are you excited about, bro? Let's see. Let's back that backhoe down. Drive it over. Before we do the potatoes, Axel has something else to show off. What is it? He found something. Oh wow. That is huge. Oh my goodness, that is a what? massive cucumber. And it's from these. Oh wow. Let's eat it. You want to eat it right now? <laughs> Let's have some. Okay, well, here. Here. Let's break it in. You break it in half. Right? You get that in, I'll get this in. Ready? One, two, three, go. Ah, heck. Is it good? Mm -hmm. That is good. Oh boy. What? You ever taste a cucumber that good from the grocery store? Mm -mm. Nope. So true, you guys. Mm. A perfect snack mm. Mm. to get back to work. <laughs> Cucumber cheers. Cucumber cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to work. 
All right, bro, let's see that backhoe in action, okay? Let's see you dig up that plant. Now, we've never really done potatoes yet, you guys, so actually, I, I, I haven't even looked into how you're supposed to harvest them. So, oh, we're just one. gonna do some experimentation there's here. One. Oh, you see one right there? Oh, look at that. Oh, it was already out. Oh, boy, no, it's just barely attached, that's all. Oh, oh man, you guys, look at that potato. That's beautiful, bro, look at that. All right, we're gonna put it in the bucket there. All right, bro, keep digging. Now, be careful with that backhoe, small right? One. So, you guys, this is a brooder truck here. And you gotta be careful if you're digging outside with your brooder trucks because they can break pretty easily, okay? They're not like those Tonka trucks we have. They look very realistic. Whoa. Oh, look at that. Oh, ha, ha, man. We got two potatoes there. It looks like there's another potato right there. Dig it up, dig it up. There you go. <laughs> Look at that harvest, man. But we need to dig deeper to see if there's more. Yes, yes, come on. Keep digging. I want to dig a little bit. Let me try. Let's see. There we go. Oh, man, this thing is a digging machine. I love it. Keep digging a little bit more right over here. Go right. farther that way. What is it? What is it? Oh, ho, ho. Look at that! That's a monster! The it's a monster that. potato! Like, oh, Look at that. It's okay, it's fine. We're gonna eat it anyways, right? Go ahead, get it out. Oh boy, look at that, you guys! That is a monster! <laughs> yeah, they're different colors. I wonder what that's about. I didn't know we planted different color potatoes in here. Let's keep going. Is there more? Oh, there feel like roots right here. Keep going. I'm gonna dig a little now. Mm -hmm. Right down there. Let's see. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Ha, nice work, excavator. Two, there's a little tiny one, little baby one. Keep going, bro, come on. Let's get those potatoes out. Woo, we're potato farmers, you guys. Keep going, keep going. These are, it's like digging for potato treasure, right? What is that, what is, oh my goodness. What, it's another monster. <laughs> it's like just oh. as big. Dude, this is so exciting. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, be careful. Oh, I'm gonna have to get that with my hand. Let's see. All right, you guys. We're gonna dig in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, oh boy. Wow, Axel. Look, oh my gosh. And another tiny one that's growing right here. It's a little potato. And it's then a another little potato. <laughs> Another one. More and more. Does it ever end? The biggest one yet is down there though, you guys. The biggest of them all. The potato daddy. <laughs> this is way the- Look at that. Oh. <laughs> it's the biggest. <laughs> oh. All right, you guys, we have our beautiful potato and onion harvest here. Axel had found some onions and Axel also got you this dill flower. These. This is the flower of the dill plant, you guys. Dill, like dill pickles that you eat. Mm. It smells just like the pickle. Mm. You can actually eat the flowers. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. All right, Axel, let's use the front loader to load up the potatoes and onions into the truck. But first, I want to show you something real quick, okay? This is the, one of the last plants we picked, you guys. Now, look at this. It's a really slice. cool. This, this is what we planted, you guys. See that slice of a potato? That's a slice of a potato. Now, look, yeah, that potato isn't it. red, is it? It's mm -hmm. like a gray But look, it's growing these red potatoes. Now, see that, you guys? Now, you see how the roots are growing from that slice of a potato. So you can take a slice of a potato and grow a bunch of whole potatoes from that. Is that crazy? Mm -hmm. Did you guys know that that's how potatoes work? Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. All right, so pick, pick that off like that. Oh, and there's like three more. Yeah, and we could replant this and just grow a whole bunch more potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we're not gonna do that because it's at the end of the season. All right, let's scoop that up and load it in the truck, okay? All right, scoop those potatoes up. Oh, let's see you do it. The, the two biggest ones completely fill up the bucket. Uh-huh. Let's see you load it in. Taterous. Oh my gosh, bro. This is so exciting. I think we'll need a dump truck too. Did somebody say they needed a dump truck? <laughs> there we go, let's load it in. Yeah, you guys, we definitely have too many potatoes to load into that thing, so we're gonna go ahead and load them in here into Euclid. 
All right, bro. Well, looks like we've done good here. Man, and this thing was really helpful. Yeah, you guys, this backhoe is really helpful, really cool. I'm so excited that we have it now. We get to use it in some future videos. And uh, we were real easy on it when we were digging with it. We made sure to take care of it. And you guys be sure to do the same with your brooder toys. You got me? This toy right here, this green toys thing, I could stomp on this, throw it, uh, throw it up against a rock wall. I could take some rocks and throw it at it. And this thing would probably be perfectly fine. This thing is super tough. Now these brooder toys right here, they're built a different way. They're good quality toys, but you gotta treat them a little bit differently than maybe your green toys or your Tonka toys, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. some bell pepper? But they sure are cool because they look so pepper? realistic. Bell pepper? Yeah, ooh, bell pepper. Mmm, man. You got any more? Oh boy. Yeah. Well, hey Axel, are you excited about cooking up these potatoes and onions? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys, we love gardening. We have our beautiful organic garden here, and we're so excited to share these moments with you guys, with us harvesting produce, with our awesome toy trucks that we have. If you guys have a garden, maybe you can ask your parents if you can help to plant or harvest some of the produce from that garden with your trucks. It's so much fun, you guys, and it's so good to understand where your food comes from by gardening yourself. All right. Well, you guys get out and use your imagination to find creative ways to live your life and love everyone around you. No matter what you have, no matter where you are, you can have fun just like you see us doing every day. If you just use a little imagination. Do you guys want to know how we did that magic trick where we teleported? You think the kids want to know that, bro? All right, you guys. Well, Uncle Boone's going to show you guys how we did that magic trick. It's actually a trick that he does when he's editing the video in our editing software. Really cool. Stick around for that, okay? Hey guys, this is Uncle Boone. I'm editing the video right now, and y'all may think, whoa, that's pretty cool. How did that happen? Well, it's pretty simple. Editing may seem like it's really complicated, but I'll take you through step by step so y'all can see how I got Axel and Patrick to look like they really teleported. So here's what it looks like after I finished editing it. Abra! Cadabra! Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna take everything off and show you what it looked like before I edited it at all. And this is what it looked like. Abra! Cadabra! Cadabra! <gasps> Pretty basic, huh? Doesn't look near as nice. So now I'll add in the effects one by one so y'all can see how it builds up. First, I'm gonna add in the fades. Abra! Cadabra! Cadabra! Pretty cool. All right, so now I'm gonna add in the swoosh sound that you heard. Cadabra! <laughs> Pretty cool with that swoosh noise, huh? Makes it really feel like something magical's happening to make them teleport to the store, right? Next, I'm gonna add in the Abra and Cadabra heads that you saw on Patrick and Axel. Abra! Cadabra! <laughs> pretty cool, huh? Editing's pretty simple, actually, if you take it step by step. And you can do a few simple things to make it look like something completely different is actually happening. Alright, that's it. We'll see you later. Bye. 